patrols these waters closely, Captain. We should proceed with caution. That's Lackey Town now, where they say assassin allied criminals congregate. I think we have lost them, sir. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel. A manuscript. Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac... You earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir. I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village. And French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kasegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. to pry, but would you happen to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you, then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. 
But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Keisegawase. The Segawase has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster. all this new world is brought. We sure show those dogs to the true master's work. Fortunately, most... We bring to the king's health. We vanquish those French dogs. We better not run out of ale tonight. We vanquish those French dogs. <sighs> Ahead, sir. Shorten sail. Get off the squall. Away anchor. What's in the cave? I get into that cave. Make 
sure you find them all. So long as we hold the old woman. My most humble heart felt there is. of him. We have to find him again. Look out for strays! Venerable one. My name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormac. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born, and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me. Venerable one. It is you who honor us, Shea Patrick Cormac. Farewell.
damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the Captain, lads! Make haste! Let out some sail! Loose topsails, gallants and royals! We're losing our bearings! Clues up! Laser sticks! Anchor ahoy! This is Kasegawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Kasegawas. to be this way it did you are an enemy achilles will see you dead what he's doing is wrong who are you to touch the templars will fail you will fail monroe 
is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. with an axe who's chasing the colonel. Keep your brown bats on your shoulder while you march. It seems to me there's more clashing. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam, I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of understanding, understanding guide us. us. 
do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shea Cormac. Shea has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far. <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. Nathan Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. Nathan Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. Nathan was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father, Edward, had been an assassin. That he chose to stay a Templar, rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories.
Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agate fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agate out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar Order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Abelin de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. The first civilization entity known as Juno re-emerged from the Grand Temple in New York in December 2012. Although no longer a corporeal being, she exists as a kind of digital consciousness somewhere in the Abstergo cloud. To accomplish her goals in the real world, Juno uses two types of people. The first is another precursor consciousness that emerges in a human being at random. This person is commonly known as a sage. Juno also holds sway over a group of disciples called the Instruments of the First Will, who believe it is humanity's natural role to serve the First Civilization. Abstergo is currently using the First Will as a cheap and hands-off way of acquiring pieces of Eden and other relics. However, I suspect that the reverse is also true, that they are using our resources to locate objects that will help them further their own goals. I do not trust them, but for now, all I can do is have the Costa monitor their activities. Juno's motives are unclear. Although she has made one attempt to possess a corporeal body, she appears to be more powerful as a digital entity. Agent de Costa fears that should humanity ever achieve singularity, a fusion of humanity and machines, Juno would become unstoppable. Ironically, it is Abstergo itself which is driving civilization in that direction.
numbskull. I've got the next set of Shade's memories loaded up and ready to go. We are nearly there. Know that you are aiding a worthy cause, even if you do not yet know what it is. I would like you would just have you brought back to life and put you back to work. Shit. What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Swine, you should not have left your backwater colony. Well, I'll return to Boston. Philadelphia, actually. Oh, so he's a comedian too. Help! Help! Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Yeah. Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. Thank you. 
How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you, to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the Royal Palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but... A tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon. Or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures. Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the uh, Lubeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. It makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. Tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. 
I fear it would take more than that, friend. We may discover you. 